I can still remember that color. That's pretty cool. But it doesn't actually. exist. Well, right? it, well, it, again, it's in my mind. Purple. It, I think it's it purple or pink exist. doesn't exist either. It's pink. I, I it's can't pink show you the color pink. because it's not. Yeah. There's no physical manifestations of it. It happens to be a a, a drug induced uh, a symptom in my brain. Well, and there's also people that are tetrachromatic. What are they? Tetrachromatic. Um, Tetrachromograph. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they basically can see multiple colors that we can't see. But anyways, fascinating topic. Um, we got so much more that we we can discuss, but we'll leave this for other episodes. We are going to be trying to do this every other week, and I'm, I'm if I can get to every week, and I will. But I got to tell you, there's so many things going on. Um, I am having a discussion coming up. Uh, I believe it's on the 8th of October with John Perry from Stated Clearly. I'm going to be talking about his DNA a code. Um, I'm arguing that it's not a code; it's more like a cipher. And I'm going to be arguing from different reasonings for that. I've talked to Dr. Mays. I've talked to Dr. Stern from Don Hopkins University. He's a geneticist. And I've also talked to another friend of mine who I just know by epigenetics on Twitter that you guys may know. He's a geneticist, PhD. All three of them are in accordance with me. So I'm going to be using my particular arguments with, with, with addition from what they've told me and what I've read. And I'm going to be trying to explain it to you. It's John, who I have the utmost respect for. I love his videos, stated clearly. I just think that it's a little bit of misnomer to call it a code, um, unless you're talking about specifically the lettering, in which case you're just substituting secondary symbols for primary symbols. But we'll get into all that. But if you guys got suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section. Uh, message me. Let me know what you think of these these videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, but definitely go subscribe to Athena. I put the link in the video description, and I've put it in the live chat like four dozen times. So I've already seen her numbers go up, <laughs> but I want to see over the next couple of days. Let's get her at least 200 subs out of this because she took her time out to do this, and I know she's got things to do here in about 15 minutes or so. So we got to wrap it up. So I want to thank you all for joining us today. Thank you for double streaming to my channel on the Non Sequitur Show. It's the first time we've done that, and I thought it was fun. So thank you all. Dave, you can take us out. Non Sequitur. Your facts are uncoordinated.